The Indonesian Center for Volcanology and Geological Hazard Mitigation said Friday that remote satellite sensing had picked up new steam emissions and thermal areas within the crater. White steam clouds, which contain sulfurous fumes, have been observed rising 50 to 200 meters above the summit, the center said. At this moment, the probability of an eruption is higher than the probability of no eruption, however, the probability may change, said Kaspani, the center's head volcanologist who like many Indonesians goes by one name. Another of the volcanologists at the center, Gedsu Indika, said the more frequent emission of sulfurous fumes in the past three days indicated the volcano was changing. This morning the steam billowed from the crater like the smoke that comes out of a factory chimney, he said. Since the sulfurous fumes are out, the possibility of an eruption is getting more real. Bali's Disaster Mitigation Agency said 144,389 people had now been evacuated, compared to a tally of some 122,490 by Thursday. They are staying in nearly 500 makeshift shelters in nine districts, and some have crossed the Lombok Strait to take refuge on the neighboring island of Lombok. Around 62,000 people lived in the danger zone before the evacuations, according to Indonesia's Disaster Mitigation Agency, but residents just outside the area have also left out of fear. Mount Agung's last eruption more than 50 years ago killed nearly 1,600 people.